Hello everybody and welcome to Surrey Library's Christmas Craft. I'm Wendy, this is Pebble and you can't see Kate but she's there behind the camera. And today we thought we'd do something special, making a little craft involving a snowman. We know how everybody likes their Christmas dinner to look lovely on the table so we're making something to decorate the table and I'm going to show you what we're making. Just be careful. Here we go. It's a snowman, and can you guess where his arms are? Oh, why don't you wait and see? Let's show you what you have to use to make our snowman. There's quite a few bits and pieces, but they're all around the house. So what you'll need is a sheet of colouring card, a coloured card, and two sheets of white card. Then you'll need either a large mug or a sugar bowl, a small plate, some cotton wool, some glue with a brush, a ruler, some scissors, various bits of pencils. So we've got an ordinary pencil, a colouring pencil of your choice, an orange colouring pencil and a nice black one an eraser, some glittery sticky initials, a piece of ribbon, I've chosen red but you can choose whatever colour you like, and a dessert spoon. It's a strange choice but you'll see how we're using in a little while. And finally, if you've got one, a penny, you could use maybe a pound coin if you're really rich. Those are all the bits and pieces we need. Take your first sheet of white paper Find your plate and put it at the end. And then using your pencil, just draw around to make a circle. And put the plate to the side. Then taking your mug, you're going to make, this is the snowman's body, you're going to make the snowman's head. So your mug or sugar bowl that I've got is just going to overlap. And then we're going to draw around that. Oh dear. Not drawing very well. Now you can see you've got a snowman's body and a snowman's head. And I'm just going to rub out these lines so we don't get confused because we're going to do some cutting out and I don't want to cut the wrong bits out. So we've just rubbed out the bits that were round the rest of the plate and the, the mug. I'm going to cut out along the lines. Thumbs. Just get rid of that bit there. There we go, we've got a little bit of stone on there. I'm going to put that bit aside. And now we're going to take our second sheet of white paper or white card or paper and our plate again. I'm going to draw around like we did before. Bouncing pencil. And then we're going to cut this out. I'm cheating. I've already got a piece that I've cut out. Now you need your ruler. And I'm just going to draw a line. Well, it's about, let's say, a third of the way down. Just across like that and then we're going to cut along that line as well. We're going to get rid of the little piece, we don't need that now. And we're going to bring back our snowman. And then you'll see that little bit we cut out will fit right on top there. It gives him a little pocket. We're going to glue the sides of this to the snowman to create that prop pocket pulley. Here we go. Any sort of glue that you have. Let's move him out of the way while we glue round. You don't want to glue along the straight line, just the round bits. Pop that back on press down so he's nice and glued in place. There you go, you've got your pocket, you see. Now, 
I think we might make a hat for our snowman. I'm going to pop him to the side again. Now we need the red piece of card. We're going to use our mug or our sugar bowl again. And once more we're going to draw around. And then we're going to cut that out. I'm going to cheat yet again. And here's one I cut out. I'm going to fold this one in half. Press down nicely. And then we're going to fold it in half again. So we've got a little fan shape. And then when you open it up, what we do is we cut along the creases. Cut in half and then cut again. We're just going to keep one of those pieces. Let's have Mr. Snowman back again. This is going to be his hat. We need a bit of glue. Let's just glue along the round end. Pop it at a nice jaunty angle on his head. Ooh, I think there's something missing from our snowman. Should we do his face now? I'm going to use my pencil and draw him some coal eyes, a carrot nose and a coal mouth. He's smiling and I'm going to use my black felt tip pen just to colour in his eyes and his mouth. Do you remember that orange pen we had? That makes a nice carrot nose. Bet you can colour him better than I can. Now, oh, we forgot to decorate his hat. Should we do that next? That's where you need the cotton wool. I'm going to make just a small ball. bit of glue. We'll make a pom-pom on his head. And then I think we'll put a bit of glue along the round edge again. And using that cotton ball we're just going to stretch it out a little bit so it makes a bit of a fur brim. It's sticking to me. There we go. Ooh. He's not looking bad now, is he? I wonder what we should do down here. He's looking a bit bare across his tummy. I know. Can you find that penny that we had? Here we go. And if you find where the line is, you're just going to put the penny just below where the pocket starts. I'm going to draw around with my black felt tip. I'm going to do one, two, three circles. They're buttons on his, on the bottom of his body, and I'm going to do some button eyes, just in different shapes. And then I'm going to use green because I like the colour green to colour in his buttons. If you have a different colour, you can use a different colour. You can colour all the way in. I'm just going to leave a little bit of white showing on my ones. Now, oh, he's looking a bit cold around the neck. I think he needs a scarf. That's where our ribbon comes in. I've chosen some red ribbon and I'm going to use our ruler just to measure about one length and then about half a length. It doesn't have to be exact. 
Let's have that off. We're going to fold it in half and then turn our snowman over. Just going to glue the middle bit to the back. Along here where his neckline is. Just that bit in the middle, I think. And then if we turn over, bring it together, we can do a little bow. And then I'm going to stick the end bits down just so they don't get in the way. Just a little bit off to the side there. That's quite cute if you've got a long bit and a short bit. He's looking like a snowman now. Oops. What I think he needs though is some arms. Hmm. What should we use for arms? I know. It's going to be on the dinner table. So how about we pop in the knife and we pop in the fork? Hmm. I'm sure he's missing something. His hands will get cold. Let's pop him aside and let's make something for his hands. Okay, so we're going to take our red card to make him some mittens so his hands don't get cold. If we just fold the bottom up, it's about five centimetres, five or six centimetres fold. And then if we turn it so it's on the side, so it opens like that. And then, magically, we're going to use the spoon. We wondered what that was for. It's to help me draw his mittens. What I'm doing is putting just the bit where the handle is of the spoon in the corner of the card here and then getting the edge of the spoon where the edge of the paper is and then I'm going to draw round the red the round part of the spoon come down oh, just a little way almost about halfway down the, the spoon and then I'm going to lift it up and we're going to use the other end of the spoon this is going to be where the thumb goes. I'm going to line this up alongside where I've already drawn. Put it at a slight angle, not too much of an angle. And then we're going to draw round. And then all the way down to the edge of the paper. Can you see? It looks a little bit like a mitten. And then we're going to cut that out. When we cut it, because we folded it, we're going to have a proper little mitten. Now we go. Try not to cut his thumb off. Can you see we've got a little mitten? Opens up. Now we're going to use that as a template. Along the folded edge again, if you pop that there, and now you can draw around to get your second mitten because he does have two hands. And then we're going to cut that out. I've already cut another one out and I've glued it together. What I did was you open it up, we just glue along the rounded edges. It's always along the rounded edges today. Oh, and that little bit of straight, but not along the bottom here, just around the edges. And when we pop the glue together, hopefully it sticks, and you'll be able to pop your finger in. Oh. And these have to go on our snowman. They are his mittens after all. Let's bring him back. Pop our knife and our fork carefully down. Let's pop his mittens on. Now then, let's clear everything out of the way. Apart from pebble. 
And there we have him. Our Mr. Snowman. All set to go on the table. Now you might want to make lots of snowmen to go on your table. I don't know if you're having mum, dad, brother, sister or whoever to dinner. And you might want to give each Mr. Snowman a name. The name of whoever it is that you want. So we thought, Kate and I, you might want to stick some letters on. And then when the person comes to the table, they'll know where to sit. This place is for Dad. I hope you enjoyed making your snowman with, with Pebble and myself and Kate today. If you want to make some more crafts, keep an eye out on Zoe Library's Facebook page this week to see what's happening and story time and rhyme time. And catch us next week when we make another decoration to go on the Christmas table. But for now, bye bye and Merry Christmas.